Hey everyone, it's July 1st. Hmm, welcome to fucking damn, the year's half over. So let's get a jump on this because we have a lot to cover today. Okay, so uh, in 1928, The Well of Loneliness is first published in the United States and sells an initial 20,000 copies. What is The Well of Loneliness? Well, it is a lesbian novel by English author Radcliffe Hall. Check it out. I haven't read it. Sounds cool. Uh, 1975, California decriminalizes private cons consensual adult homosexual acts. And um, also, in 1975, Washington does the same. Uh, in 1975, Blue Boy Magazine debuts. Guess what that is? That is gay porn. Uh, 1976, Indiana decriminalizes private consensual adult homosexual acts. 1978, a Ladies Home Journal magazine poll of junior and senior high school students results in the naming of Adolf Hitler and Anita Bryant as the two people who have done the most damage in the world. Anita Bryant is an American singer and an opponent of gay rights. Was. Is? Was. I actually don't know if she's still alive. Weird. Um, 1979, the Susan B. Anthony Dollar makes its debut. 1982, Torso magazine makes its debut. That would be another gay magazine. Um, Gay porn. Uh, 1986, uh, renowned science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke comes very close to coming out in an interview published in Playboy magazine. 1987, President Reagan nominates openly homophobic Robert Bork to the U.S. Supreme Court. The nomination is rejected by the U.S. Senate for a wide variety of reasons. In 1989, professional bodybuilder Bob Paris comes out in an interview in Iron Man magazine. And finally, in 1989, the Center for Disease Control announces the number of confirmed AIDS cases in the United States has topped the 100,000 mark. All on July 1st. So, there you have it. There's July 1st, this day in gay. Uh, come back tomorrow. I'll be here. Neary. Oh, real quick, uh, on a personal note, I am building a beer pong table, and it is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be fucking awesome. When it's done, actually, I don't even think I can set it up in my room. It's going to be 10 feet long. So, uh, if anyone wants to play some beer pong, let me know. We'll hit it up.